Why, to the T, to the B, to the C. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. And guys, you know, where does Adrian Broner go from here, okay? Where does Adrian Broner, I've had some time to really just calm down, and I've gotten, you know, I was a little pissed off that he was playing around in the ring, but I cannot deny what he did in the ring, if that makes sense. I can't deny what he did in the ring. I just can't do it, okay? I cannot do it, and that's just the way that is, okay? Um, Adrian Broner looked, you know, he looked phenomenal. He looked phenomenal. He looked phenomenal against this Khabib guy, okay? Khabib was afraid from the first right hand. Khabib was scared. He, he was terrified. Adrian Broner was hitting him with power, man. He was hitting him with power. And, you know, Adrian Broner, you know, he, he, he's heavy-handed at 140. He heavy-handed, man. I don't know. I think that he's going to be a tough act to beat at 140. I think he need to go ahead and let's just get him out, get, go on and fight post-style. I think Broner and post style need to happen, okay? I think Broner will take post style seriously. I think he won't do any of the stupid antics that he did in the ring. And I think Broner will clearly defeat Victor post style. I think he would. To me, post style don't hit hard enough to do damage to Adrian Broner. Y'all remember, man, Marcos McDonough couldn't even knock this fool out. I'm sorry. I, I, I cannot take Adrian Broner's chin. I can't take it away from him. Adrian Broner got a chin. You can love him. You can hate him. You, you you just, I mean, you got to look at it. The proof is right there. This man has a chin. This man has a chin. And that's just the way that is. Victor Postal ain't knocking him out, okay? He ain't knocking him out unless Adrian just say, um, let me take a knee because, um, I don't want to fight no more. Nah, man. And I also do got to say, Adrian Broner got heart. See, don't, don't let the fact that this man get in the ring, he do backhand fists, uh, he talk to the ringside, you know, he'd be picking at the fighters in the ring while he's fighting. Don't let any of that stuff let you think that this man don't have heart. Adrian Broner got heart. He ain't going to quit. There, there's no quit in Broner, and I like that about him. Now, he fight post style. I want Broner to turn up his ferocity, man, and put this guy on the canvas. That's what I want out of Adrian Broner. I want Adrian Broner to get in there and just get downright vicious. I'm talking about vicious and just totally destroy Victor post style. I mean, I think if Adrian Broner get in there and do what he did and get seriously, get I mean, get real serious, man. Don't play with this man. Don't play with him. Get in. Adrian Broner knocks out post out. Give him the first knockout of his career, okay? And, and really, if you want to be honest, you know, I don't know. I have to question some of post out wins anyway. I have to question a couple of his wins. I'm sorry, you know. I think Hank, I thought Henry Hank, Hammer, uh, Hank Lundy, or Henry, Henry Lundy, I, I think he gave post out a good fight. That fight could have went either way. That that's just in my opinion, okay? It's just in my opinion. And also, too, man, it was a guy called uh, Selichuk Aiden, you know, another Russian guy. He was fighting post style. And honestly, I thought Selichuk, I thought he was winning that fight, man. And post style caught him with a great shot. Post style can be hurt, man. He can be hurt. It's just, man, the way he do it, he'll get in there, man, and it's deceptive. Like, you would think post style really not finna start hitting you with a bunch of punches, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, post style will hit you with a five and six, like, flurry combination, man. And you thinking to yourself, what? This man ain't been doing that. He hitting you with two and three punch combinations. All of a sudden, post style will just throw the hands on you, put you on the canvas. I mean, it's almost like he get hit, and then he go into another mode where, oh, crap, I'm about to lose a fight. And then post style got this desperation mode, man. It's crazy. He got a desperation mode where... He can peel off, like, you know, a big number of combinations, man, and then he put these guys down. He did it to Lucas Matisse, man. I mean, I think Matisse hurt him, and all of a sudden, post out just started throwing flurries of punches, man. It was crazy. So that, to me, would be a good fight, and I'll say it's a 60-40 fight. I'll give 60% of, the, of it to Broner. Based on Broner, got the heavier hands, and probably I'll say Broner is a better boxer, but I think post out is better putting together uh, combinations, okay? I, I think he is. But we we see when Broner let his hands go, y'all. When Broner let them hands go, I'm telling y'all, man, Broner can't get, he can't be beat. And when he started hitting Khabib with them dang on combinations, you can see the look on Khabib's face. Khabib was, was done. John David Jackson kept telling him, I'm going to stop the fight. I think John David Jackson should have threw the towel in. He should have threw it in anyway. When Broner started clowning him, man, and, you know, he started talking to um, ringside. Khabib was already done. Khabib was done. Okay, he was out of there. He was out on his feet, really, to believe it or not. Khabib was out. 
John David Jackson should have threw that towel in. Because, you know, Darren Khabib wasn't going to try nothing else, man. He was done. Okay? And, you know, I, I, you know, I like Khabib. He was all right. But he was just no match for Adrian Broner. He was just no match, man. The guy, Adrian, was on another level. And I know people finna get on here and say, Yeah, but he fought a bunch of C and D fighters. Yeah, coach, but uh, Khabib is nobody. Okay, you know, here's what I got to say to you people. And here's what I got to say to some of you. I call you, uh, you know, you butthurt Olympians. I got to say something to y'all. Okay, so Khabib fights Jesse Vargas. Many of you same butthurt fans, you were sitting there talking about Khabib got robbed. I said Khabib got robbed. I don't think Khabib was a bum. But, you know, you guys are going to say that because Adrian Broner looked great. And you, you just, instead of you saying he looked great, you don't want to say, you don't want to say he looked great. You don't want to say that 140 pounds is the weight class for Adrian Broner. This is the weight class where he's going to thrive at. Now, you don't want to say he looked great. You want to say he fought a bum. You want to say, oh, man, wait till he get in the ring with uh, uh, Victor Postal. Wait till he get in the ring with Postal. Postal go manhandle him. No, he not. Broner is a strong, he's a big 140-pounder. See, Broner is a guy that he'll weigh in at 140, but he'll hydrate up to 154. Okay? Broner can hydrate up to 154. And be in the ring, with he's going to be the bigger fighter most of the times at 140 pounds, okay? He's going to be the bigger, stronger fighter at 140 pounds. But I know Broner's never going to get any props, you know, and I and I criticized him, but I still gave him props because I can't deny what the man did in the ring. And, and, and you know, I, I keep telling y'all this. I keep telling y'all this and telling y'all this, okay? I can't deny what this man did. I don't like the antics that he did, but I cannot deny that this man at 140 is darn the unstoppable. I see the only person that can beat Adrian Broner at, at 140 is Terrence Crawford, okay? I don't think Victor Postal can do that. First of all, Postal don't move fast enough on his feet. Adrian Broner is too fast. He's too fast, okay? And he's going to pretty much avoid a lot of the punishment from Victor Postal, okay? He's going to frustrate Postal, okay? He's going to get in Victor Postal's head. It, it's, it's what he does, okay? It's what he does. Postal can't beat him. But you guys are going to say, oh, oh he's getting the with Postal uh, because uh, he beat up a bum in Khabib. Khabib was a D-level opponent. No, he wasn't because you same idiots wasn't saying that when he fought Jesse Vargas. I'm sorry. And in many of you think Jesse Vargas is a B-level opponent. Now, on a side note, I want to see Adrian. I want to see him get in the ring with Jesse Vargas, okay? Yeah, I know Jesse is slow and flat-footed. He really is. But Jesse can crack a little bit. So, I, you know, I, I want to see that fight. So I can see Broner going for post style. I wouldn't mind seeing him fighting, uh, you know, a Jesse Vargas. But I'd rather see him fight one of those two guys first and then fight Terrence Crawford, you know, fight him second for a super fight. Okay, that's my opinion on that. That's just the way that is. Okay, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe.